So Lance, uh, you were out at minicamp. So after watching minicamp, um, wide receiving core. What just do they have enough there? What are your thoughts? So it really stood out in the red zone. So as you go through, once again, no pads on, no 11 on 11 live, none of that stuff. So not even really 11 on 11. Most of that was walk through. So, uh, but what you saw and where that came out is the, they don't have Amari Cooper and they don't have Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy didn't practice undisclosed uh, injury. That was not, uh, evidently not a big deal. Um, so during practice, it was good. All those young guys ran great routes. They did a nice job. I just didn't think in the red zone they were able to separate. And in the red zone kind of separates the guys who are elite and the guys who are pros. And remember, if you're a pro, you're better than 99.95% of the, the world. And those top, you know, less than 1% guys are the guys that can get open in small areas in the red zone. Things that Cooper can do. Things that Jerry Judy, even though they paid him high money, hasn't been able to do yet. He hasn't done it consistently. So we're all assuming – uh, as guys who have watched film and things like that, I'm assuming Jerry Judy with the coaching he'll get with the Browns and the quarterback he's playing with in the run game, the defense, et cetera, that he's going to have a great year. But really the only proven guy they have is Amari Cooper. Now, I think Elijah Moore did a great job in camp. I think he can be a great number two or three. I think Cedric Tillman really stepped up. I even think Michael Woods has improved himself physically. But I'm not sure those are the guys you want to have uh, consistently being your number ones when you're talking about wanting to win a Super Bowl. So Amari Cooper, you got to hope Amari Cooper gets signed. You got to hope that Jerry Judy is going to play to the level that you paid him at because, and he does have that talent. And it's going to be hard not to be good with the Browns if you just meet your end of the bargain because they have everything else that you need as a receiver. You're going to get the ball a bunch. They got a great defense, uh, et cetera. So um, I think Jerry Judy is going to be an elite number two that – puts Elijah Moore as an elite number three, and then obviously Amari Cooper is an elite number one. So then then, then I think they're good. But without those guys and without Judy, so your Judy's going to have to prove himself, and then they got to find that fourth guy plus Najoku. So a little bit of question mark at that receiver for me. Just um, not a huge question mark, but they have to they have to get Cooper signed. 